So Paige, what did you like best about coming home? Probably being able to see my dog Diesel and being able to see my friends and go out and play with them. Hello, I'm Eva Aguirre Cooper, board member for the Mary Free Bed Foundation. I hope you and your loved ones are healthy and safe. Welcome to Let Freedom Spring, the digital event. You know, during these unprecedented times, we've had to find creative ways to connect with each other. Thank you for taking the time to connect with us and experience the power of Mary's mission of restoring hope and freedom through rehabilitation. We are grateful for the generous support of our dedicated sponsors at Visicare, Airway Oxygen, Lake Michigan Credit Union, and Trace 3. Mary Freebed's mission is very personal for me. My daughter has experienced Mary's compassionate care and healing not once, but twice. I know what it's like to have fear transforming into hope. When Paige Baird came to Mary Freebed last summer, her parents, Sarah and Jason, felt the same uncertainty and ultimately the same hope. Here is Paige's story. The team is vital to helping people recover from devastating injuries like this. We walked into the trauma bay and there were probably 40, 45 doctors in there waiting for us. And that's kind of when it hit me, when I saw all of them, that this is bad. She wasn't able to move or feel anything from the neck down. I don't see any child as doomed to failure when they come in here. Therapy is very important. We get our best outcomes when we can connect the rehab effort to something meaningful in the individual's life. I was talking to her about school and going back to school and she said she was very nervous about it. So we kind of sat down and actually she wrote the PowerPoint. My body had to relearn how to do everything. So today was Paige's first day back. Today we wanted to gather the whole student body so that we could kind of um, answer some of the questions that they would be having. Classmates were able to understand why she had the halo. I just think now that she's back, our, our school's complete. She's home. We're just not focused on the patient in the hospital. We're also focused about how they're coping and how much anxiety and how we can help with them once they leave here. What are you hoping to do this year? Be a kid again. Definitely um, amazing people at Mary Freebed, and we're very thankful that they were able to get our little girl back to back to us and, and start our new life. Hi everybody. We really wish you could be there today to all be together. Uh, I'd really like you to see how far Paige has come. She has done amazing. Uh, 10 months ago, she was in a bad accident and she had um, broken her C2, had some damage to her spinal cord. Uh, we were transferred from Helen DeVos Children's Hospital to Mary Freebed. When we got there, we were totally overwhelmed. We had so many questions and concerns, um, wondering what her expectations would be, how far they were gonna push her, how hard they were gonna push her in therapy. The staff was wonderful. They addressed all of our concerns. They made sure to check in with us through that first night, that next day. Um, the days that followed, the weeks that followed, they made sure that they gave us everything they needed, that we needed. They we, they truly bonded with us and we got very close with them. They just adored her. She adored every single one of them. Um, she could probably still tell you which nurse makes the best milkshakes, which nurse will give her the Rice Krispie treats when mom and dad aren't looking. Uh, just just an amazing group of, of staff from, from everybody. They knew when to challenge her. They knew when to be caring. They knew when she needed a hug. They knew when she needed a break. They knew when she needed to be pushed. They worked their way into our hearts. They made all of us part of her therapy, not just Paige. They allowed us to be a part of it. They allowed her little sister, who refused to leave her side, to be there with her. And they made miracles happen. They pushed her to stand 
and then to walk. They let her ride a bike. They put her in a pool to swim. They let her do what she needed to do to get back to where she needed to be. They brought in activities. They brought in the therapy dogs for the kids. It was just an overall great experience. Mary Freebed has changed our lives. They have given us our little girl back. They took our scariest time of our lives and they helped us to get through. They cried with us, they laughed with us, and after our 56 days, they celebrated with us when our little girl was able to walk out of there all on her own. We couldn't have done it without the Mary Freebed staff. We wouldn't be where we are today without them. So from our family to you guys, thank you, Mary Freebed. Um, you can tell it's not just a job for them. They're passionate. They care about each individual. Yeah. Now I need a real one. And they definitely went above and beyond for us. And from the bottom of our hearts, we thank you, Mary Freebed. We thank all of you who are here listening today, um, wherever you are, home. And we thank you for your, your donations. This is supposed to be a, uh, a luncheon, a get together, if you will, for everybody. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a team and it takes a team. It takes all of us to make this happen um, from you guys to who are donating to the therapist, to everybody. So again, we thank you, Mary Freebed. Hello, friends. I hope this message finds you healthy, well, and hopeful. I'm so grateful that you're willing to spend a little time listening. This is so hard because I wish we could be together face to face. We will again soon. I'm Kent Riddle, Mary Freebed CEO these last nine and a half years. And to me, my role isn't a job, but as a job, it's the best in the world. That's because Mary Freebed's my personal mission. I really believe right here that this mission, the work of Mary Freebed is one of the great causes in the world today. And of course, Great causes aren't made or solved by one person. Every great cause takes a host of people, an entire community of people to overcome the odds stacked against them. Great causes, restoring hope and freedom through rehabilitation. During another great cause in 1942, Churchill said, be ready to make sacrifices for the great causes. Only that way shall we live to keep our souls alive. Well, to be a part of restoring hope and freedom to children, let's just say all people, the way Mary Freebed gives them their lives and futures back, well, that makes me feel alive. Every day our clinicians and therapists and nurses suit up to provide world-class care, giving Mary Freebed patients the best possible chance of a functional life. These are uncertain times, hard times. But one thing is certain, the love and hope that our patients experience at Mary Freebed, well, you saw it in Paige's story, the relief and hope felt by her parents, along with Paige's hard work to be a kid again. Today, I'm asking you to make a difference by giving a gift to the Mary Freebed Foundation. On this day, all gifts from Let Freedom Spring will support our COVID-19 relief efforts like providing a specialized therapy for those recovering from this terrible virus, helping patients stay virtually connected to maintain progress in their fight for independence and protecting our staff. My wife, Susan, and I have always lived by the axiom, if we have little to give, let's give a little. And there have been those times in our lives. If we have a lot, let's give a lot. And if we have nothing, let's give time and cheerlead for great causes. If this is the first time you're seeing our mission of restoring hope and freedom in action, I humbly ask you to consider making a gift of $150. If you already have a tremendous love for Mary Freebed as I do and the miracles that happen here, I'm asking you to be a champion of hope and freedom and join our major gift circle, which starts at $1,500. For those who are already champions, our patients and I would be grateful to have your renewed support each year. You can make a one-time gift or pledge. 
or you can become a member of Mary's Fan Club, which is our monthly giving program. Giving $125 each month will make you a champion of hope and freedom. Did you know that $1,500 is the cost of one inpatient night with full therapies, medications, and physicians at Mary Freebed? There's three ways to make a donation. You can text the word Mary to 50155. 50155, texting Mary. Or visit maryfreebed.com slash foundation and click the Donate Now button. Or write a check to the Mary Freebed Foundation and mail it to the address displayed at the end of this video. I'm so appreciative of your, uh, your support because I meet and I listen to the very patients whose lives and recoveries you've made possible already. Every gift matters much, regardless of the amount. Thanks to our generous sponsors, Advisacare, Airway Oxygen, Lake Michigan Credit Union, and Trace 3, 100% of your gift today goes to directly support our COVID-19 efforts and under-sponsored patients. Susan and I have been giving to Mary Freebed for a very long time, and we will for the rest of our lives, because to us, Mary Freebed is one of the world's great causes. From the bottom, the top, and the deepest part of my heart, thank you for spending a few minutes with us today to get a glimpse of what makes Mary Freebed one of the world's great causes. We're in this together. Please be well and stay healthy. Right now I'm waiting to go to the hospital again for another MRI and hopefully that means getting that off. Thank you for watching this video and supporting Mary Food Bed. Bye!